firstly, my generation will be impacted by the climate crisis the most. It's going to affect in the future where we live, what kind of jobs we have, where we decide to have college. A lot of young people are even having conversations about whether or not they want to have children or not. And so with all of these things that we have to keep in mind in the future, it's very hard for young people not to realize that they have to do something and fight for their planet to mitigate the worst effects of the climate crisis. And so that's one thing that keeps me motivated. I think the enduring impact the events of 2020 are having on the nature of work is that we're realizing we can't work unless we're healthy and safe and that our well-being comes before anything else. One of the things that I think needs to happen to cement positive change is start to transition and transform how we're using social media as a tool and resource in our movement. So as Gen Z, we are already using Zoom, social media, and other applications to communicate and do our work. And so I think that that is very important because young people are showing just how positive we can make change when it comes to using social media and how we can change our efforts and resources to strive and take action. Young people, what I think is very impactful about us when we organize and take action is we haven't been in this system that sometimes a lot of adults are ingrained in and have grown up in. And so we think outside of the box and we still think everything is possible. And so I think that that's what's very important about young people and our role is we bring different ideas to the table and that's what's going to continuously drive us when we take action is we're going to continue to find new ways to make change. We need to focus on these global mobilizations and getting more people into this movement. And so I, I believe that if we continue taking action and get these steps to mitigate our global greenhouse gas emissions, to bring them down and mitigate the effects of the climate crisis, that we can start to see a change. And that is the way that we have the light at the end of the tunnel is if we start taking action now. And so that's one of the main reasons that I keep being an activist is because it makes me feel better about the future and like I have a say in what's happening because I am only 15. I cannot participate in our political system yet. I can't vote. And so being an activist is one of the best ways for me to make my voice heard and what's happening. And so I do think that if we continue to take action and get more people in this movement that we will start to see that light.